Now, we've been talking about gases of various sorts, carbon dioxide, uh, nitrogen, uh, natural gas. Uh, there's another kind of gas that probably many of you are familiar with because they blow up balloons with it. Who knows what it is? Helium. Very good. Now, I have a tank over here filled with helium, and I have some balloons. And I'm going to fill a balloon with helium just like uh, they might do if you went to the circus or the zoo. You might find someone blowing balloons up just like this. And they tie them off and tie them to a string and give you the string, and you walk around and say, gee, that's, that's really neat. But I'm not going to do that. That's uh, too ordinary. I'm going to do something else with the helium. What I'm going to do with the helium is breathe it. Now, I caution you, don't go home and start trying to breathe things. Because most gases that, that you breathe, even some of the air we breathe, is harmful to you. So there are only a few things you can do this with. Helium happens to be one that you can breathe. And it does a very interesting thing when you breathe it. So watch and listen closely. And as you see, it has very little effect, except it changes my voice slightly so that I sound like Donald Duck. <laughs> now, I'm not just pretending. It's really doing this to my voice. And the reason is that air travels faster in helium than it does, or sorry, sound travels faster in helium than it does in air. And so the natural resonant frequencies of my nasal cavity is increased. And the way you sound has to do with uh, uh, the properties of your vocal cords and the resonant frequencies of, uh, of your nasal cavity. And so helium alters the way you sound. And you can see as I continue to breathe and the helium is replaced with ordinary air that I begin to sound normal again. Now, probably a lot of you, I'm sorry? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I will do it again, but the next time, not with helium. I'm going to breathe something else. And this is one of the other uh, things that you can safely breathe, and there are not too many of these, but it's something called sulfur hexafluoride. It's in this little tiny bottle over here. And I'll fill up the same balloon with the sulfur hexafluoride. Now, sulfur hexafluoride has the property that, unlike helium, which is a light gas, it's a very heavy gas. And so tra sound travels slowly in sulfur hexafluoride, whereas in hydrogen or in helium, it travels rapidly. So it will have somewhat the opposite effect. And I'll breathe it as I did the helium. <laughs> and as you see, it has very little effect. It does me very little harm, except it makes my voice rather low. Now, the other interesting thing about breathing sulfur hexafluoride <laughs> is that because it's a heavy gas, it stays down in my lungs for a long, long time. <laughs> Unlike the helium, which very quickly rises to the top and out my nose and goes away. So you may have to listen to me sounding like this for the rest of the lecture. But perhaps not. Little by little, I'll begin to sound normal. But the effect is exactly the same. It's a heavy gas. Sound travels slowly in a heavy gas. It lowers 